Growing up, I was fascinated about how dots connect, how problems are solved. I was always asking the why. Why does the universe work the way that it does? I started in healthcare really young, and almost 30 years later, I'm still in medtech. Every day, people lose a loved one. I lost my father at the age of five, when he was 45, and it inspires me to be able to work in a field where I can alleviate the pain of others, I can contribute to eliminate disease, and I can bring a better living to those who suffer the way that I suffered growing up. We, Zimmer Biomed, are a mission-centric, patient-obsessed company. And our mission statement is actually very similar to the mission statement of the New York Hall of Science. It's about alleviating pain and improving the quality of life for people around the world. It's about making lives better. We're solving problems around infection management, keeping people alive after a surgery, storing mobility, the joy of living. We do hip implants, knee implants, shoulder implants. We keep people moving. Ivan Tornos, he has been an innovative, creative medical professional his entire career. And he has a deep personal connection and commitment to the work that he does. Simmer Biomed is very much the future of STEM and medicine. They make a difference in the quality of our lives, in our ability to continue to do things that we love to do. It's very much on the problem-solving edge. So what we try to do here at the museum in the young people we work with is to help them build a problem-solving mindset and help them get curious about using the tools and practices of science to solve problems that are important for them. What inspired me about meeting Yvonne was hearing about some of those challenges that he has had in the past. It helps to show you that you could take your passion and make something really big out of it. It doesn't matter where you start from, as long as you continue down that path, you could go really far. Disease is moving fast, and we gotta run faster than disease. We need a new set of critical thinkers to solve these problems, and we need a new set of tools, whether it is the leveraging of machine learning, artificial intelligence, whether it's the role of data across healthcare, whether it is new surgical approaches. We gotta innovate at a faster pace, and we need better trained people who are thinking about the problem in a different way. If we're gonna innovate, we need to innovate across every gender, across every race, across every socioeconomic status. The New York Hall of Science is teaching what I deem are two critical competences, critical thinking and problem solving. If you can master those two competences early on in your life, you will go far. You'll always have people around you that tell you, no, it's gonna be complex, it's gonna be difficult to get there. So be relentless and the sky's the limit. <laughs>